I've decided to make a series of information security videos to help people protect their information on social media and the wild, wild web. Why? Well, because while we were under lockdown, fraudsters, scammers, aka the bad guys, have been very, very busy. Just yesterday, my mom's WhatsApp account was hacked into and stolen. How? Simple. Social engineering. Before I get into the details of what happened, I really need to define a few things. Social engineering is the use of deception to manipulate people into divulging confidential or personal information that may be used for fraudulent purposes. Basically, they tell you lies, stories to trick you into revealing stuff, confidential stuff, personal stuff, stuff that you would normally never tell a stranger. These methods normally invoke urgency, a sense of fear, or similar emotions to get you to reveal sensitive information, to click on a malicious link, or to click on a malicious attachment. Before you know it, they've stolen money from your bank accounts, stolen your identity, or something terrible like that. Social engineering methods can be used in person, or via unsolicited emails or messages. This is called phishing, with a P stands for phishing for information, or they can be used via unsolicited phone calls. This is called phishing. Think of it as voice phishing. So the bad guys using their voice to fish. In the case of my mom's stolen WhatsApp account, it all began with a phone call. She got a call from a man claiming to be the secretary of an association that she's a member of. He said they were signing up members for a webinar that was happening the next day and that they'd sent her a code had she received it. She said no, that she hadn't checked her messages, and he said they would call her with the code and then he'd call her back so he could complete her registration. She gets a call from an automated voice service with the code which she writes down and she gives it to him when he calls her back. Ten minutes later. A friend called to tell her that her WhatsApp account had been hacked and the hacker was sending inappropriate messages to her contacts. At this point, I am now involved, so I check her WhatsApp and she's been logged out. What to do if this happens to you? Well, I immediately went to WhatsApp's website to check how to recover a stolen account. The first thing you need to do is to sign into WhatsApp with your phone number and verify that phone number with the verification code that WhatsApp sends to you via SMS. Once you do this, the hacker will be immediately logged out of your account. However, you might be asked to enter a two-step verification PIN. If you do not remember ever setting this pin or you don't remember the pin, then the hacker may have enabled two-step verification and you'll have to wait seven days to be able to log into your account without this pin. But don't worry, even if you can't remember the two-step verification pin or you don't know it, the hacker has been logged out of your account as soon as you entered the verification code. In my mom's case, the hacker had enabled two-step verification, so we have to wait seven days before we can log into her account. So what is WhatsApp two-step verification? It's an additional optional security measure that will not allow someone to verify your phone number on WhatsApp without entering a six-digit PIN that you created. If you have not enabled two-step verification on your WhatsApp account, please do so right now. For Android users, please go to WhatsApp on your phone, tap the three dots in the upper right corner, tap settings, tap account, Tap two-step verification, tap enable. Enter your custom pin, re-enter your custom pin, tap next. Then you have a choice of entering your email address. You can skip it if you like. Tap save and done. For Apple users, it's the same thing. Go to settings and follow the same instructions. All the links to these instructions will be in the description below. A few last things. WhatsApp messages are end-to-end -end encrypted, so a hacker accessing your account from a different device cannot access your past conversations. Just make sure you immediately carry out these recovery instructions so you can log them out of your account quickly. If you notice that a friend starts sending strange messages on social media, 
called them to find out if their account has been hacked. Thank God my mom's friend called us to let us know so we were able to log the bad guy out really fast. Do not, under any circumstances, give anyone who calls you codes, pins, ATM, credit card, debit card numbers, give them nothing. Nothing. I did not stutter. I said nothing. One more time for the people at the back who did not hear, give them nothing. I trust you found this video useful. Please share so that we can inform as many people as we can and prevent the bad guys from accessing our WhatsApp accounts. I'm Rosemary, this is Tech Savvy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below for more tech videos. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.